previously. I'm gonna win this fucking fight. And so we go. Hello friends, my name's Tonight, and welcome back to Slay the Spire Modded. We are gonna actually play the servant today. I worked on... Why did they switch your position? Whatever. I did a lot of updating and changing my game files and everything, and now the servant should work just fine. So, yeah. I think I, I, I actually played her a little bit before, so I can kind of have an idea of what she does. Um... <clears throat> Mm. Uh, she starts each, con each combat with six knives. Uh, we're going to talk to the whale and obtain a random rare card. Killing doll. Throw all knives. Each deals two damage to a random enemy. Ooh. <coughs> Alright, so there's these little portals here. I just want to let you know I'm probably not going to take them. Because um, they tend to mess up my game. But then again, if I can like go this way and then like go there that'd be pretty cool but like okay so <coughs> one two three one oh four one two three four okay we're oh, five so there's two here yeah we're gonna go this way um, they tend to mess up my game a little bit. They leave a thing on screen here that says space warps around you or something like that. So, yeah. Uh, six knives, two damage each. That's 12 damage, so we're not going to do that. Uh, we're actually going to block twice and throw a uh, knife. <coughs> Ow. Alright, uh, kidney shot. Makes you weaker, do that. And strike once, and I'm gonna obtain two more knives. If I can get a deck kind of like I had the first time I played her, I'll be good. It was a pretty good deck. It was, that was a little weird. No. Shit. I didn't throw two knives. Uh, I did that all wrong. Alright. I uh, throw two knives. Plus a leak. And now I can kill you. I oh, wasn't even paying enough attention for that. Okay, now I took damage for no reason. Uh, ricochet was pretty good last time I used it. Uh, throw one knife and it dill and it bounces between all the enemies. Uh, however many times it says. <coughs> if there's one enemy, though, it's pointless. As you pass by a skeleton, you notice it's wearing a red ring on each hand. You feel some sort of chaotic energy emanating from them. Just looking at it makes your head start to pound. Left hand, attain a relic, become crystallarian. Uh, get confusion for that one. Right hand, become cursed living evil. Can be played for three energy to exhaust. At the end of your turn, shuffle a curse into your draw pile and reduce cost. Ooh. Both hands, obtain two relics. 75% become cursed at random. Wait, upgraded card. Wait, what? Ah! What what is this? Upgraded cards gonna be appear past that. Yes, I know that. I don't see how picking up cursed rings found on dead people could possibly be anything other than a fantastic idea. Uh, apparently, I didn't get anything. Uh, let's kidney shot, buy some weak, strike. My power is unmatched. Alright, uh, Ricochet is pretty pointless right here. I'm gonna get a defend. I'm gonna exchange. I mean, 9 damage is pretty cool, though. Let's do that. I'll throw you. 
Nine damage is still pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, so this will do 10 damage. Which isn't nearly enough to do anything, so yeah. Alright. This kidney shot you. Uh. Defend twice. And let's get two more knives in my turn. I should be able to kill you next turn. <coughs> it's all wet and rainy outside. Alright, do that. And do that. Very nice. My powers were matched. Don't you dare lay on that keyboard. Alright. Uh, double edge, apply two vulnerable and backlash, uh, instant armor innate, get six protection, convert three knives to satellites. Oh, hell yeah. Um, I forgot to let you read what that was. Okay, so, let's look at my deck real quick, I'll show you. Uh, protection, whenever you lose HP, don't pr lose protection instead. Protection will not be removed at the start of your turn. It's kind of like having barricade, except for protection is separate from block. Um, and satellite is whenever I use an attack, I lose a satellite and attack an extra time for four damage. Whenever I'm attacked, I lose a satellite and deal four damage to the attacker. It's kind of like having, um, thorns, but not permanently. Uh, and satellites count as knives. So let's do this. See, I get this little protection and then I get these satellites here. Um, throw all knives, so two damage to a random enemy. Do this, that'll bounce between them. And then if I throw all my knives, I sh I'll get close to killing you. Alright, and now I. Um, yep. And you're dead. Very good. See, satellites are pretty awesome. <coughs> Double your protection, exhaust. Gain six, shift gain six protection. I have no idea how to shift. I think I just have to discard it. Returning blade is fucking legit. It, um... You predict what the enemy is going to do next turn. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Ricochet should kill you guys. Well, won't kill you, but it'll get you close enough that I can kill you. Um, double edge is pretty cool. Fortune time. Exhaust your hand. Gave five protection and two knives for each exhausted card. Well, that's really interesting. Alleviate. Uh, I've never gotten an alleviate, and I don't really care for it. Uh, 15 damage applied to vulnerable. And backlash means that I get a frail, a weak, and a vulnerable. But it still does 15 damage and applies to vulnerable. I think it's worth the exchange. Alright, so let's smith the card. Let's smith returning bullet. No, because I can smith that any number of times. Let's smith instant armor because I get more stuff instantly. And we're going to go fight this elite. Gremlin knob. I didn't even see who my boss was. Who's my boss? It's the Slammer baby. Alright. Instant armor. Um... Double edge. And ricochet. In my turn. I'm going to have a vulnerable next turn, which kind of sucks, but it's alright. <coughs> uh, this would... Oh, six damage. Returning blade. And he's going to attack next turn. And th that's going to return to me if I'm correct. See, uh, next turn if the target enemy attempts to attack, because I predicted he was going to attack, I deal 6 damage and put a copy of this card in my hand. Uh, and now we are going to... Uh, discard these two. 
It's gonna make him stronger, but whatever. I have nine protection, which gains some four plated armor, and I'm gonna throw all my knives at him. And if he attacks next turn, I will get uh, my re my returning blade back, which I know that he is, so I get returning blade. See? He's gonna inflict a negative effect on me. I'm gonna apply a weak to him. Oh. I don't have any knives. Shit. Okay. He's gonna attack next turn again. <coughs> In my turn. <coughs> <coughs> You know what? I don't even want to know what she's doing. Nope. Alright. Um, exchange would make him stronger. But I could probably kill him if I, if I try. Six damage. Six damage. And yep, you're dead. And he's going to attack. Oh. Well, I forgot that it doesn't do damage until next turn. So now I'm going to take a shit ton of damage. Because I forgot that it didn't do damage until the next turn. So now he's going to die because he's attacking. That's one of the big issues with it. Um, oh, I have replay the spire on as well. Whenever I gain vulnerable or weaken, it also applies to the enemy that sent it, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, Starlight, throw two knives, each deals five damage to a random enemy, and draw a card. Rearm, draw two cards, obtain five knives, which is legit. Spin, deal 13 damage and apply one weak to all enemies. Backlash, totally gonna get this. Hello. Let's move the card. Let's, uh... Smith Killing Doll, which deals three damage to a random enemy. Yeah, let's Smith Killing Doll. <coughs> let's go this way so we can get the fire. Ooh, a bag of marbles. Hell to the fuck yeah. I, I could go there, but I am not going to. I don't want the thing stuck on my screen. Um, let's get this. 18 damage to all enemies. It's fucking legit for, you know, that little bit of a cost. It means it could end a fight quickly. Like, you would be dead. See? Dead. Um, I'm gonna throw this first, though. And then I'm gonna deal this. And then I'm gonna do a turning blade, and he's gonna attack next turn. Which doesn't matter, because I still do four damage because of satellites, even though I'm not actually attacking him. Uh, still. Six damage, discard a card, and shift, I can draw a card. Um, I think I'm gonna get rearm. Nine block, there's no attack in here, draw two cards. Let's get rearm. I really liked rearm. Rearm, I draw two cards to get five knives. See? Would end this instantly. Ta da. <coughs> uh, ooh, silver blades. Knives still two additional damage at the start of your turn, obtain two knives. That is a legit card. There was a guy that, uh, in, last time I, I played and I was playing the servant, um, cause I was trying her out, I wasn't able to record. Um, it was an event that if I talked to him and paid him a certain amount of gold, then I could choose which boss for the third act not to have. Of course I chose the time eater, but yeah, so silver blades, let's do that. A strange blue humanoid with a golden helmet approaches you with a huge smile. Hello, friends! I am Cleric! Are you interested in my services? The creature shouts loudly. Yes, actually. I'd like to heal. A warm golden light envelops your body and dissipates. The creature grins. Cleric best healer! Have a good day! Thank you. Should I rest here? I think I'm going to smith another card. Let's smith rearm. <coughs> All right, so he's vulnerable right now, which is absolutely awesome. Um, I'm going to do this and turning blade. I'm sure he's going to attack next turn, so we're going to do that. And I'm going to end my turn. I should be able to get him to 70 next turn so he doesn't squish me. Oh, he's not attacking. That's right. I forgot he slime crushes me. Shit. Oh, well. Silver blades. And killing doll. Alright. Now I can avoid his slime crush. I forgot that he prepares for slime crush the turn after. Mm. Alright. Uh, 
let's do that. And let's card these two. And in my turn, they're gonna split. All right, um, spin. Should I? No, in my turn. I still have protection. Ugh, like me. All right, uh, let's see here. arm. Go ahead and hit you again. My turn. They're gonna have three HP each. If I get spin, then this will be over real quickly. <coughs> Didn't you just... Oh, that's frail. Okay. Uh, ooh, ricochet. Uh, kidney shot, and you're dead. See? Pretty fun. Oh, Venom Potion is just like having, um, in Venom. But it's a potion. Uh, Silver Matrix. Convert two knives into satellites. Gain one Matrix for each satellite you have. What is Matrix? Uh, reduce attack damage taken by 50%. Lose one Matrix whenever you are at Martix. Every time you're attacked. Choose one temporal card and place it on top of your drop pile. That's pretty cool. I'm actually going to get that one. Temporal cards, um, I don't remember how to uh, describe them, but yeah. Uh, sweet flower, replay the spot. Get energy at the start of it. Churn less map information? What the fuck does that even mean? What does less map information mean? I want to get it because I haven't seen it before. But, like, I'm already playing a new character. Let's do it. Oh. My god. What the fuck is this mess? What the actual hell is happening now? Okay, I'm actually gonna figure out which path I'm going down. So one, two, three, four, five. This is an enemy no matter what, I believe. If this isn't an enemy, then I know all of them are actually question marks. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, the treasures. Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Holy shit. Okay, we gotta go that way and get three fucking treasures. Four treasures. Five treasures? Five treasures. Alright, but for now, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Lunar Night setting out.